This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 3520 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Dell Inspiron 3520 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or most other laptop computers, we need to disconnect all sources of power, and that means removing the battery. In order to remove the battery, we flip over the laptop and on the bottom we slide the two levers outward and then slide the battery out like so. Once the battery is removed, the laptop is safe to work on. While we're on the bottom, I'll show you how to find the model number for this laptop model. It's Inspiron 3520 also known as Dell Inspiron 15, Inspiron 3520. And the other thing you got to make sure of, it's not a touchscreen version because the touchscreen requires a different procedure. Okay, once we remove the battery, the laptop is safe to work on. And the first step to get to the screen assembly is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. Before we do that, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers. And that's to remove any screws that might be stuck or to manipulate cables. And we also have a hobby knife or X-Acto knife and that's to remove adhesive tape on the back of the screen. So normally for the screen bezel it has a, well, two or four screws that are securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly but in this case there is no screws you just snap the screen bezel off. So that's the first thing we're going to do and that's how we're going to start. In order to snap the screen bezel off we put our fingertips of fingernails on the screen side of the screen bezel and then we gently lift up and outward and listen for snapping sounds. Lift up and outward to snap the screen bezel off. And in this way we work our way around the screen. If you get stuck at a certain place that's okay. Leave that place alone and go to the next spot where you can unsnap the screen bezel more easily. And in this way, work around the whole screen. Going down, same thing on the bottom too. Once you do that, you put the screen bezel to the side. Once we remove the screen bezel, we can see the screen assembly. And for this type of screen, it's mounted on some metal mounting brackets on each side, so there's screws on the side that we have to remove to remove the screen from the screen assembly. And you can see that there are two screws, one here and one here. So right now we can't reach them because they're hidden behind some plastic tabs. So what we need to do is use our PH0 screwdriver to remove two screws at the top that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly. One and two. And for each set of screws, for each step, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when we're putting the laptop back together. Okay, once we removed the two screws, we can tilt the screen a little bit forward from the screen assembly. We see we can reach this top screw, but this bottom screw, screw is still, we can't reach it. So what we do is the metal mounting brackets have two screws that are securing the brackets to the back of the screen assembly, two here and two here. We don't want to remove those, but we want to loosen these maybe one or two turns to help us tilt the screen forward a little bit, just enough to get to the screws on the side. So once again, loosen these one or two turns, just enough to get to the screws. And once you do that, we're almost there. So we're gonna loosen it some more. Being careful not to remove it all the way. 
And once we do that, we can finally get to the screws on the side. So there's one. And you can use the tweezers to help you remove that screws. And once again, we start a separate pile for this set of screws. There's one. And same here. Just loosen the bottom screws until just enough until you can get to the screw. And while we're doing this, make sure that the screen is tilted back. And in this case, we're going to use our tweezers to help us remove this screw. Okay, and we just have the two screws at the top of the screen assembly to remove then. One. And two, like so. Okay, once we do that, with the screen tilted back, we tilt the metal mounting bracket away from the screen, like so, to release those. And we look at the back and we see that the webcam cable is has some adhesive that is stuck to the back of the screen. So we gently, we gently use our fingers to remove the adhesive from the back of the webcam cable and that allows us to tilt the screen forward a little bit. Usually I don't like to remove the webcam cable from the connector but in this case we can't lay the screen down so what I'm going to do is pull the webcam cable out and this way we can lay the screen down. For this type of screen, there's only one connector we have to remove in order to remove this, this screen. And before we do that, we're going to loosen the adhesive on the back of the video cable. And with our fingertips, we gently lift up the video cable in places where there's adhesive, like so. And also, there's adhesive tape on top of the connector. And what we do for that is use our X-Acto knife to lift up the corner. Like so, just, just enough so we can get our fingernail in, or fingertip. And we lift up the adhesive tape, like so. And we fold the adhesive tape back. Once we do all these steps, we can slide the connector out. So what we do is just slide backwards and the connector is released. I'm going to reconnect it because this is the biggest source of trouble I see when people do this at home. So when you slide the connector back in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close up. Okay. Pause the video right about here. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. And this is a proper connection. All right, let's slide the connector out again. And let's take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. Let's look at the part number. The part number is LP156WH4. That's the part number you're looking for. LP156WH4. When you do receive your replacement screen when you order it, most likely the part number will not be the same, but the screen will look very similar, exact same size, and the connector is in the exact same location. You can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what you get with us is this exact same toolkit will come for free with the screen that we ship. We also have free priority mail shipping in the United States. So that means once you order, you don't have to pay extra for shipping and you'll receive your screen in two or three days after placing the order. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship most likely to your country too. Just follow the regular checkout procedure and see if your country is included. And also with our screens we offer a two-year warranty on the screens 
and also free email technical support. So if you have any trouble connecting to the screen, send us email and we'll help you walk through it. Okay, once you do order the screen and you do receive it, you connect it as I showed you. Once you connect it and put the adhesive tape back on, tilt the screen back, reconnect the webcam connector at the top, mount the screen in the middle mounting brackets and put the two screws in at the top and two screws in at the bottom then tighten the screws in tighten the screws at the bottom make sure you don't forget this step because otherwise you may damage your hinges once you do that put the two screws in at the top and then snap the screen bezel back on and once you do that the laptop should be ready okay uh, that's it um, good luck once again, my name is Eugene Penrudkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and have a good day.